ladies, listen up. Okay, we all know it's a crazy world out there. It's getting even crazier, right? Yeah. But have you ever thought of polishing up on your self-defense skills? All right, take a look. We, we went out to Shower in the West, San Antonio, to brush up on technique. If you've heard of Tai Chi, you know it is a slow, rhythmic, ancient self-defense art that dates back centuries to China. You also know that it's good for the mind and the soul, promoting inner peace and calm. But in times of danger, it's always nice to have a more primitive approach. I stopped by Shaolin West San Antonio, where owner Rick Barrera teaches some tough techniques to the lady. Get into something fast. That way that people see that you are not easily taken advantage of. Women's self-defense classes are a growing trend for ladies that live alone or want to defend in times of trouble. There are many techniques they teach at Shaolin West, but here are three basic scenarios that can happen to any woman at any time. Scenario number one. Somebody coming up and grabbing you and trying to pull you out of bar, a restaurant, any establishment that you, you, know, you want to be there, but they want to take you out. Human instinct is, oops, human instinct is she wants to pull away. We're going to have her step in and send that elbow right to the middle of my chest. Okay. She's going to get in this strong, strong position, nice and low. We call it a horse dance. That way, I can't push her away. Got it. Okay, so nice and low. Let's see it. Let's see the whole thing. So come in, grab she get hit right in my stomach. Ouch, that sounded like it hurt. Here's scenario number two. An attacker grabs you by the throat. I'm coming up to your mm -hmm. chin or to, to, your, to your toe. Make sure you drop your chin, step away, get into that horse stance, and then you can walk away. Got it, okay. So you come here, drop your chin, and then walk. There you go. Oh, nice. Turn <laughs> it off. Not as nice as Heather. Not as polished as Heather. So again, from here, drop. There you go. Oh. And last, but certainly not least, scenario number three. An attacker grabs you from behind. And I come again this way for a choke. Okay. You're going to lift that elbow, and I want you, don't hit me too hard. Okay. You can knock me out. That's okay. Turn around, and you're aiming right to my temple. Okay, I will so actually knock you out. with your elbow or with your, with your fist. Okay. So here, pow, if you open your arm. Uh-huh. Oh, it's like this. There you go. Now, would you say I should hit you in the face? Temple. Temple. Ear. Right here under the jaw. Uh-huh. Even if you do... What about your nose? I hear that's good. Right. If you turn a little bit further, roll it all the way over, palm strike me to the nose, palm strike that person, to, they start to cry. They're, they can't stop. Their eyes water up, and you can get away. Still worried you don't have what it takes to fend off an attacker? Visit Shaolin West San Antonio and give the person assaulting you a lot more than you bargained for. Wow. Yeah. Do you feel stronger? I do. Oh, man, I can beat anybody up. Yeah. You know, but if someone came at me, I would definitely know what to do. The best thing that I learned out of that is don't pull away. Go, go in. Go into, use that force. And they think the they're going to try to run. One more thing, and this is interesting. Go for the eyes. Yes, go for always the eyes. get a thumb and just stick it in the eyeball. Also, he said, gross, but it works. If they're asking for your purse or your wallet, just to give it to them, but yeah. throw it at them. Throw it at them, and then they'll go after the person, and you can run really, really fast. That's and where your writing skills come in. And yell, fire! Or and worst comes to worst, just run. You want to always get out of there. Nothing's worth it. All right, guys.